Hello everyone, it is the Canadian Futures Trader here today. It is Sunday evening and this would be day 8 of the 1UP Trader 100k account. So we're just past the halfway mark of 15 days. Um, I did something a little bit different today. So I actually recorded my very last trade and I trade in Jigsaw Day Trader. That's what you see on the screen here. So what I'm actually going to be doing is going through the video that I recorded, explaining this kind of last trade. And then I'll show you my balance in Rhythmic as well, which I already recorded as part of this video. So we're kind of um, watching a video uh, that I recorded earlier and I'm putting the audio on top of it now, basically. So um let's see here let me just uh start this so what you're seeing here and, and my mouse is uh recording from from earlier so basically i'm you're looking at this middle part of the screen now i know there's two mouse on the on the screen um this middle part of the screen right here is the ultra bond it's what i'm trading this is the depth of market or the ladder if you will um the price here is in the gray my profit and loss is in this column right here uh, so my position is I basically went long right here at, at 04, basically. Let's just use the last two digits. I went long at 04, and part of how you quickly know that is that my profit is zero at that point, and it goes up from here and down from there. Uh, you can also see up here how many contracts I'm in for, so I'm currently long four contracts. Um, just for reference, this is the 30-year note. This is the 10-year note. Um, this, um, You see the current price here is highlighted in yellow. So at this point, I could get out for $750 profit. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm moving this red bar. So what this red here is based on my stop loss. You see 4S, that means four contracts stop. Um, the red bar up here is take profit. So if it hits either, so if the price either falls back down and hits this, it'll get me out at this price. Or if it shoots up to this price, it'll take profit at this price. Um, why again, I mentioned this before, why I said it take profit is occasionally you get like a little rush, a little rally. Um, so say it spiked up and it came back down, I would want to capture that. Uh, this column right here is the number of contracts which have traded at each price. So what's unique about this trade is that you see there's almost nothing in here. So my kind of thought process was, is if we can break through here, there really wasn't a lot of interest in this price level. So we might get a quick rush up to here. And that's why I set my take profit there. Um, another factor to consider, and I'm going to pause this video just to, uh, so I can keep talking over it. Um, is that with one up you don't want any one day to be too too big now i'm in a pretty good spot with my account but they have their um i'm trying to think of the of the wording but uh, basically where whatever your biggest day is your next three biggest days can't be more or have to be at least 80 percent of that biggest day i'm really not in that danger but at the same point in time i didn't want a situation where and it was unlikely but where say this price just shot up to like four thousand or something like I would almost be making too much money. Um, so I would rather just get out at this level. Um, but I was perfectly happy getting out here. And uh, what happens, I'll let the video play here in a second, is it does actually come back down a little bit and I get out at this price. So um, what I'm doing here, you see this little hand, is I'm managing my stop loss. So I can manage it within Jigsaw. Um, I don't want to set it right at this level because it can easily just tick down one and get you out. But at the same time, I don't want to set it too low. Like I want to capture a lot of this profit. So. Um, I was honestly fine. Usually I'm looking for three or four ticks in profit. Uh, this was my final trade for the day, so I was already up a bunch. Um, so I knew that at this point that I was going to be making at least a thousand for the day, if not slightly more. Um, and that's part of why I have this too. Remember, I already made some profit today. Um, that's kind of the max that I want. So I'm going to let the video play here for a little bit longer. If you have any questions about Jigsaw, let me know. Um, I really enjoy it. It is obviously more of a scalping tool and it wouldn't be. There's no charts, no graphs here, any of that technical analysis. I don't really do any of that. And you're going to see here in a second. So right now the price is getting ready to just tick down and I will get um, this profit level. I know you can't really see it, but uh, you can kind of do the math. It's moving up in $125 ticks. So this would be $750 in profit. Um, on this trade and you'll see in a second what will happen is when it comes down and actually trades at this price this will execute and then this is set to automatically disappear so when one of these happens the other one gets cancelled so uh didn't go there i think i got out that price maybe i moved it up a bit what you have over here is the basically the actual individual sales so this is the ultra bond which is this this is the 30-year note this is the um, 10-year note so I kind of just keep my eyes on this blues is obviously people buying reds is people selling so you're seeing this just kind of play around here. So it's basically like if I get knocked out here, it's 750. So be it. I'm perfectly happy with that. And I did just right there. Okay. And now switching over to Rhythmic, um, I'll zoom in here. But basically you can see my um, stats here now. So close profit and loss. That means all my trades are closed. I have nothing open. 
um, or if I did, they would be, um, it would show the profit and loss area and it would show that I have some exposure, but I have nothing open. So I made $1,250 today. Uh, this is the gross that doesn't include any uh, commissions on the trade, so it would have been slightly less than that, but not too, too worried about that. And then here is my ending account balance. So we're at 103713 So if you remember, if you saw my videos from the weekend, um, my goal this weekend was really just to get to $4,000 of profit. So we're, we're like $300 away from the weekly goal and it's only Monday's trading day. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we are almost two thirds of the way um, through with progress. I mean, the goal is six thousand. We're almost at four thousand. Um, goal this week. If you watched my top step trader from video from tonight, top step trader did not go well. So, basically, what I'm going to try to do the next few days is not put too much emphasis on um, one up. I'm really happy where it's at. Um, I will trade it each day, so each day counts as a trading day. And obviously, I mean, I try to make profitable trades, but I'm not going to labor over. I'm not going to spend like you know four or six hours like I did some evenings trading. I'm really just looking for like a trade. And honestly, if I made a hundred dollar tick trade each day for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I would be right at 4,000 and I'd be totally fine with that. I'm going to put my efforts into top step and turning that around and really trading that account well. So, all right guys, so that is basically it. So, uh, yeah, happy with one up, uh, not so happy with top step and I will do update videos of course on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday with, um, so that will be day nine of one up and it will be, uh, day three of top steps so look for those videos uh thanks everybody for subscribing if you have any questions either about one up about top step any of the other programs i mean i'm not currently trading the other ones but i have traded them before um feel free to leave the uh, questions in the comments um questions about jigsaw um whatever your questions might be if i can answer them great if i can't i'll try to point you in the right direction and that is it guys see you in the next video